If you're looking for a great place to exercise, you won't find anything better than the MUSC Wellness Center. Today, we learn more about the one-stop shop for fitness. This is Charleston Women Podcast, where you can meet like-minded, strong, independent, professional, and inspiring local women. This is Charleston Women Podcast. And joining us now on the Charleston Women Podcast are Cindy Day and Colby Denton from the MUSC Wellness Center. Hello, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. We are good. You know, tell me a little bit more. You know, there's a lot of new people moving to Charleston, right? So a lot of us who lived here for many years, we're familiar with the Wellness Center, but a lot of new people need to know about how fantastic you are. Tell me more about what you do. Well, uh, so the MUSC Wellness Center... Um, we do we we consider ourselves a one-stop shop for yeah. fitness in the low country we've won best fitness center for several years in a row with health links magazine mm -hmm. uh cindy is also actually over the bet the next uh the best program of charleston yep yeah. mm -hmm. we won best exercise program for mm -hmm. uh, rock steady boxing which mm -hmm. she heads up um and we have everything from i always tell you know students and people who have never been here mm -hmm. we've got everything from a pool to a sauna steam mm -hmm. room rooftop gym a rooftop track an indoor track if the weather's nasty mm -hmm. um and then everything in between so right. and just yeah. well just to be clear like we hear musc and a lot of people think like oh i need to work there mm -hmm. anyone can right. go correct Correct. Yes, it's open to the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and that's a fun fact that we often throw in whenever we work like health fairs and things like that, mm -hmm. just because it is a little intimidating. You know, that is a factor that we have to deal with sometimes mm -hmm. uh, with educating the public about mm -hmm. what we are and what we offer. Right. Um, so tell me a little bit more. Cindy, a lot of people are listening to this. They're not watching, but Cindy is very fit. <laughs> she is. Thank you. You're very, very fit. Good. I can tell that over Zoom. Tell me more about Cindy, your background, and you too as well, Colby. Like what brought you to this position? Um, for me, I always had a passion for health and wellness. Mm -hmm. um, and right around 2017, I decided to make this a career. Mm -hmm. um, I interned at the MUSC Wellness Center for about six months. And then I started my career here. I initially started as a personal trainer and group exercise instructor. Mm -hmm. And I did that for close to seven years. Um, that's how I, we met. That's, yeah. that's yep. I don't know Colby. He's our marketing yeah. director here. So uh, I do work closely with him now. Pretty often. Um, shortly after that, about, about a year ago, I mm -hmm. started in this clinical exercise program coordinator position. Mm -hmm. So now what I do is I help sort of uh, organize and coordinate programs for anyone who has been di diagnosed with a disease. Hmm. So anywhere, anything from uh, breast cancer to hmm. Parkinson's disease, um, we're launching a uh, new rheumatoid program as well. So that program will be for anyone who has any kind of rheumatological condition. Hmm. We will have a special w uh, wellness and fitness exercise program for them specifically geared toward their symptoms. That's and we call it rumor has it. We thought that was cute. Uh, well, of course, the marketing guy has the clever name. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was cute. And we were like, that's it. We've got to run it with It is that. cute. You know, it's wonderful, too, that you have it programmed specific for disease because, you know, there's only so much you can do with medicine, et cetera. I'm sure you see a big difference when these people come in your program and start this fitness program as they're going through their treatment, right? Yeah, so um, specifically with our uh, cancer survivor programs, mm -hmm. a lot of times these individuals are coming in uh, based on a suggestion from their doctor. Mm -hmm. um, they think that they're coming in just to receive sort of a fitness class, but what they end up finding is a support group, which is really great. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. How about you, Colby? How long have you been with MUSC? Um, I've definitely not been as long as Cindy. I'm, if you can't tell from the accent, I'm from Tennessee originally. Got it. Um, but, uh, my wife's from the region and, um, been with MUSC. It'll be two years in October. Okay. Um, I've been, th this was kind of a new position because, um, prior to my starting, the wellness center didn't have a lot of marketing on, on our side. Mm -hmm. So typically that we would not get a lot of social media coverage. And so this was a new position and um, mm -hmm. I've kind of come in and started it from the bottom. And I think we're, I, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I think we're doing pretty well. Right. Um, we've, we've developed relationships with local entities like Charleston women, mm -hmm. as well as health links and the post and courier. Mm -hmm. And um, we are at a lot of like community functions and um, but my background is not in fitness. I mean, I, 
I, I don't even I don't look anything like Cindy over here. <laughs> Stop. Just buff and knows what she's talking about. I uh, the 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 beauty is I learn from the experts like her. You know, whenever it comes time to to market something new, like our rumor has it program or mm-hmm. rock steady boxing or anything like that. Typically, I'll just rely on her or her counterpart Chrissy to um, just educate me about what the program's about and what. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, how it helps people and mm-hmm. we'll go in there and take pictures and video mm-hmm. sometimes we'll interview people and that's a lot of my job as well as mm-hmm. like some future interns work as well to mm-hmm. kind of highlight those sort of things but that's, my background's all over the place <laughs> well, that's good i mean it's good that you're helping spread the message and that leads me to my next question you know what do you think is the impact that you're making in charleston maybe before you were kind of like charleston's best kept secret and now with a little more marketing oomph with all these like expanded programs i'm sure it's got to feel pretty good for you guys to see a difference within our community it really does i mean i know cindy can for sure talk about like the 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 like health impact that it has with people with what Mm -hmm. her programs do Mm -hmm. because they really do make a massive impact i've seen the women in the breast cancer survivors Mm -hmm. group as well as uh, the men in the prostate cancer survivors Mm -hmm. what it does but um Mm -hmm. yeah i i I really think we've been doing a good job of Mm -hmm. spreading awareness and letting people know what we are because um we're actually (laughs) about to start a brand new it's not brand new it's the second year we're doing this but a big push in the month of may for a big deal we run called membership mayhem um which you know clever yeah uh so uh we're running that may 1st through the 31st and essentially if you pay for 11 months Mm -hmm. uh, of a membership in advance you'll get your 12th month for free that's great we we it it was a huge seller for last year yeah it's open to non-members as well as members Mm -hmm. so they can just you know pay for that and get a free month essentially and starts whenever their membership ends but uh, so you've piqued my curiosity not a member but i'm like oh i need to change up my workout a little bit let's talk about what you offer i know cindy Mm -hmm. um you know you've mentioned the cancer patients but for other people do you Mm -hmm. have you know what group fitness classes do you have you mentioned the track and stuff but let's kind of break it down what facilities we get Mm-hmm. Yeah, He's looking so, at Cindy. <laughs> yeah, so I'll take that one. She knows um, that one for sure. So we do offer multiple group exercise um, classes. We do have a schedule that is online. Um, mm-hmm. It, for the most part, will stay the same, but we do have some rotating classes. We have classes starting as early as six in the morning, and then okay. we do have some that can run all the way through the evening as well. And we have classes um, Monday through Saturday. I don't believe we have any on Sunday right now, but we offer mm-hmm. Pilates um, mat. We offer uh, Zumba. We offer spin classes. We mm-hmm. also have um, some uh, body pump classes, which is mm-hmm. sort of like strength training, but it mixes in some cardio. We also have yoga classes. Mm-hmm. Um, and for, we don't just have clinical programs. So Chrissy Wojciechowski and I run the clinical exercise programs, but we also have fitness programs. So we do have like a, a intro to weights for women. So it's that one's called women and weights. And mm-hmm. that's for anyone who may be interested in um, any woman who may be interested in like learning how to use weight equipment, um, whether it be free weights or uh, weight training machines. So Mm -hmm. that one's a pretty cool program. That one runs in two phases. There's a very beginner phase and then the next phase. So that one's kind of a cool program. Mm -hmm. Um, We're also pretty unique in the fact that we, even though we're open to the community, we also are able to reach out to the students as well. So Mm -hmm. we accept not just MUSC students, but College of Mm -hmm. Charleston, any of the local South Carolina students, which is great because it's um, when you're a student, I think all of us know you're working really hard. You're really stressed. Mm-hmm. So this is a great mm-hmm. outlet for them. Right. Yeah. It seems like whenever, you know, students, if they've never been here, mm-hmm. they come in here and they, th- they realize, Oh, wow, this is part of tuition. You know, this yeah. is part of going to MUSC. They're just floored. And the, those reactions are definitely some of our favorites because mm-hmm. they, they really appreciate it. Right. I, I see that you guys, your focus is on helping everyone find the hashtag your best you, which <laughs> I love. Do you also have um, other like weight loss programs? If someone comes in and just needs extra help more than, you know, the women in weights or whatever you're offering, do you offer that? Yeah. So we did used to have a really big weight loss program. We're currently revamping that right now um, into a bariatrics program, but we do offer personal training um, one-on-one sessions, which could be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And Mm -hmm. so if you just have a goal, you're interested in, you know, um, 
getting a little more fit or maybe cutting a little of your body fat, we do offer personal training for that. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have a really cool bioelectric and penis machine that can, um, they can, they're welcome to uh, do one of those. We have two different types and that one will actually break down your body fat, your skeletal muscle mass, mm-hmm. and it will tell you, you know, that your calorie intake versus your um, protein, your carbs, and it'll help you start with a goal. Oh, it's cool. pretty crazy because Just, actually, how do they find out that much information? You, you stand on a, a crazy. So it, <laughs> so basically, an is it the scale that you stand? Yeah. I feel like I've done that. But okay. Yeah. yeah well, it's a scale through. and yeah. it has an yeah. electrical current that runs through your body, and it kind of um, measures the water in your cells, and it can mm-hmm. differentiate between fat and skeletal muscle, and um, also lean muscle mass or lean body mass. Excuse mm-hmm. me. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now, my next question is: Do we want to know that number? I mean, we should. Yeah. <laughs> some people say <laughs> yeah, it can be helpful but what's really cool is that you get to see like the muscle mass in your right arm versus your left arm or something right. like that so that's really cool and like a, a real life like version of how that is beneficial Aaron is because yeah. I was in a really bad car wreck a couple of years mm-hmm. ago where I broke my kneecap mm-hmm. um, and so I was you know kind of learning to bend my knee and mm-hmm. after they put it back together and uh, learning how to walk and jump and everything else, just like a normal person again. And um, I took that, I took the, the yeah, I think it was the mm-hmm. evil that I did mm-hmm. and Dusty, mm-hmm. our director, you know, kind of transcribed it for me. Cause mm-hmm. I was like, what is ambient muscle mass? Or I don't know. That's probably not even right. a thing, but um, <laughs> he, he said, the cool part is Colby. It shows your leg muscles as well as your arm muscles. And he was like, your leg muscles are almost identical, which is crazy because, you know, oh. one you would think had <laughs> entropy and, you know, shrunk down. Yeah. And- Sometimes right. you see That's that. Good. We sometimes can see like if somebody has had an injury that um, mm-hmm. one side will be more atrophy than the other. And then that's helpful for trainers to see and, and help with goals as well. Yeah. So for us to access all of this magic, I, it's my understanding we need to sign up ideally during the May. What's, what's the, what's the catchy yeah. phrase again? Membership mayhem. Membership mayhem yeah. is when you want to sign up, you get that free month. Um, can we do it online? Do we need to go in physically to sign up? Like what's the best way to go about this? We will have uh, right now. There's actually, you can go on the website and fill out the form. You mm-hmm. won't be able to like actually pay anything until May 1st, mm-hmm. okay. but um, you can go ahead and fill out the form. We've had quite a few people already do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, once May 1st happens, you can just go to our website, which is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. musc.edu slash hsc okay uh, what is that harper student center is mm-hmm. what it stands okay. for um and then also just come into our front desk and talk to our staff they'll get you signed okay. up really quickly that's great i have one more question because i remember dropping my kids off for summer camp there when they were little right mm-hmm. we just went through like the little drive driveway as a member where where do you park Oh, parking. it's a very important question. It is. That's. I'm glad you asked that yes. because we are one of the few facilities, you know, in downtown yes. that has pretty decent parking. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget how many we have over 100. I know. I think it's like 144 parking spots or something like okay. that. We have a covered underground garage. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's technically our first floor. Um, and if you're a member, you can buy a parking card, which is okay. it gets you into the parking garage mm-hmm. for the year. And I believe it's 95 for the okay. year, uh, which isn't bad, mm-hmm. but um, compared to a lot of other places, you know, around here. So, yes, parking is an option for sure. That's great. Is there anything else that you guys would like to add that I haven't asked? Let's see. We've covered rumor has it um, how Rocksteady boxing. Oh, actually, this coming Saturday. Um, and this may air after that, Aaron, I apologize, but April 20th uh, okay. is Parkinson's moving day. Okay. So um, that's going to be a big thing for Cindy and uh, Chrissy. They're going to be at uh, walking with a lot of people with Parkinson's uh, because that's a huge community that they support. So we'll all be there to work a table and, you know, do the walk with, with them. Right. That's at the James Island County Park. That's mm-hmm. wonderful. I guess, I guess my last question might be for you, you know, Cindy, that a lot of people, it's intimidating, right? If you've been out of the gym for a while, yeah. a little bit of time, long time, like what would you say to someone who might be considering this, you know, membership mayhem and getting back to it, but it feels like a little intimidated stepping back into a gym? I think that the wellness center is a great place to start because everyone here is a huge community. It's mm-hmm. It ranges from um, again, clinical population all the way down to students. So we are accepting of everyone in the community here mm-hmm. and there will be someone here that can help you. So if you're someone who hasn't been in the gym, you're like, oh my goodness, I just don't even know how to start with the equipment. 
If you're not even sure if you want to have a trainer, if you walk in the doors and take a tour and you're interested and you're like, man, this is really a great place for me. Mm -hmm. We have people that can help you um, get oriented to the equipment, even if you're like, I'm not ready for personal training. Um, And even if the wellness center isn't for you, I would just say if you are interested in moving your body, just get out there and do it. Um, It'll get better. It'll get easier and you'll feel better. I have, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. That was so well said. Colby, that was good. That, Mr. Marketer, we're good. I love it. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that was amazing. I do want you to say for our listeners one more time, the website where they can go to find more information. Sure thing. So the website is musc.edu slash HSC. All right. And you guys have been listening to the Charleston Women Podcast with more on the MUSC Wellness Center. Thanks for spending time with Charleston Women Podcast. Please like us and follow us on whatever platform you're using to access Charleston Women Podcast.